Get it immediately. Hello, uh, this is going to be a quick intro into texturing in Blender. And texturing is about sort of adding textures and colors to your objects to make them uh, look more real. Okay, so we're going to take our scene and I'm going to add a few things to it. I'll pull the box up a little bit and remember you use uh, the right mouse button to select objects. So I'll just select away from that, select that um, with my right mouse button and you can move them around using these um, grabbing these with your left mouse button and moving along the different axes and Y is uh, green, X is uh, red and Z is blue. Okay so let's add some things in. I'm going to add a plane so I'll go up to add mesh and then uh, plane and there's a plane underneath my cube you can't see it at the moment. I'll scale it up by pressing S and just dragging outwards Okay, and that's going to be my floor. So I'll get my cube and make sure it's on the bottom of my floor. Now, it's tricky to do this from the perspective angle. So it's best to go to something like the side view by pressing 1. And I'm in perspective at the moment because you can kind of see the distance. It's fading, um, it's, um, was it scaling out to the distance? If I press 5, I'll be in orthographic mode. And then I can see where the floor is. It's where that red line is. Bring it down there, and it's right bang on the floor. Okay, I'll come out of that by the middle mouse button middle mouse button holding down and dragging around and move around the object but I'm still in orthographic mode so I'll change it back to perspective mode and everything looks a bit better okay then I'm going to add another object I'm going to add a mesh and I'm going to add a uh, sphere a UV sphere there it is and I'll pull that up and I'll roughly put that on the ground there and then I'll go to the side view again make sure it's on the ground orthographic view by pressing 5 1 was to go to the side view 5 is going to orthographic bring it up and there it is just touching whoa, somewhere around there whoa. Uh, and we're about on the ground there okay and then back to perspective view by just clicking the middle mouse button and moving away and then going back to perspective with the five on your numpad remember it's the numpad not your normal number keys uh, they do they affect the layers down here the normal number keys okay so let's just see what it looks like for my camera uh, press zero and it takes you to the camera, that's not bad, that will do fine. I'll add one more thing, I'll add the monkey I think because uh, that always gives uh, a nice look. Um, I'll bring him up there and I'll just rotate him around the x-axis a little bit. Uh, so press R, um, X and you can move him around the x-axis like this. Okay and I'll go to my side view uh, which is 1, orthographic 5, whoops what have I done there? Do that again, one and five. Did something weird there for some reason, and bring him down. I might even rotate around the x axis again and just make sure his chin is touching the floor so he looks like he's balancing on the floor. Okay, press five to go back to perspective and then start moving around my scene. Okay, so let's press zero to see what it looks like on my camera. Excellent stuff. And I've got one light here. Render that. So you go render. You've got to be on this little camera and go render, or render is up here as well. Render image. And let's see what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Okay, no color, it's all gray. I've got one light over here and it's casting these shadows like this. Okay, press escape to come out of that view. And we're back in our scene. And what I'm going to show you is coloring these in. So with my one light up here, um, there's, there's two options for coloring in. Uh, coloring in. Uh, texturing. Uh, there's a, a blender render en engine or there's uh, cycles. Uh, render and a cycle gives you a much nicer look because it look um, oh, it does lots of different things which are quite clever and it just looks more realistic blender render is much faster uh, cycles is a lot slower but you get a nicer result I want to choose cycles because I think that's kind of the future of these sort of things and as machines get faster you'll end up using things like that more often let's just make these objects smooth so right click on them and over here I can say smooth and it smooths them out. It stops them being blocky. So I right click on the mon monkey and smooth him out as well. Okay. <coughs> right, so I've got my scene there and I want to color these in. In cycles, I can actually get rid of my light because what I'll do is um, you use objects as light instead of uh, these things. So I'll just delete that. That'll all become clear in a second. And I'm going to add another mesh and I'm going to add a plane and drag it upwards. That is going to be my light. Okay, that'll make sense in a second. So if I render this scene now, go to uh, render, you should be able to see very 
a little. Or you can see how cycles work. It's quite clever, isn't it? And there you go. There's not no light in the scene, though. That's uh, so that's why it looks a bit odd at the moment. Okay. So uh, that's uh, cycles, and you can see how much of a different job it's doing. So the first thing you do when you want to colour something in, you go to this object where it says materials. That's what uh, they're called in Blender. Materials. The material tab here. So click on that, and whatever you have selected like this, uh, you press add new uh, to give it a colour. So we'll go on the cube first and we'll, uh, in fact we'll go on the um, uh, the ball first and we'll press add new. Okay, and it comes up uh, with this. And I'll simply change the colour for now. Okay, there's a few other things you can change, but we'll change the colour and we'll make it purple. Right, we'll click on the monkey, I'll add a new one, and we'll make that blue. And we'll click on the cube, and right, I've just because this was the start of the scene, uh, and I've switched over to cycles, it still thinks this is under Blender Render. So you just have to click Use Nodes uh, to get it off there, and you're back to what we'd seen in the other ones. And I'll change this to red, okay? And then I'll render that. F12 is the keyboard shortcut on a PC. I'm not sure what it is on a Mac, so you might have to look that up. Right, and it's very bland at the moment, but as soon as I put a light in, which I'll show you how to do, press Escape to come out of this. Go back to your scene, click on my light, and then I'll, this is going to be my light, you see here, and add new. And where it says the surface, I'm going to change that to whoop, emission, which means it becomes a light. And um, the really cool thing about cycles that I really like is that you can actually come down to this option here. This um, tells you how you want to see your scene. So you can see it in wireframe and sometimes that helps to grab certain vertices and things like that. Um, or you can see it as solid. Or if you go right up to the top you can see it as rendered and it actually shows you what it's going to look like rendered uh, which is quite clever. So I'm going to grab this. Oop. Let's get another view pane there like that. Um, you click on that little um, corner button there and you can get another view up. Uh, so there's my rendered scene and it's easier to select when you're not in this scene. And I'll bring my light down, you should be able to see it starting to affect these things a little bit more. Uh, let's turn the strength up. There you go, you can see as I turn that up, the strength, uh, you can see it really affecting my scene a lot more. Uh, it's much easier to click on it and just type a number in like 10. Okay, there we go. Uh, and you can see that we're now starting to get uh, what looks like uh, a nice scene. And when I move around, it's very fuzzy. Uh, that's because it uh, takes time when it's still, it starts calculating and you can see it doing some sort of calculation up here and this is telling you how detailed it's going to be and I've got it on 10 at the moment which is not very high um, but if we render that there we go you can see it's fairly slow actually isn't it and there we go we're starting to get some colours out now and it's looking quite interesting uh, in fact, I'll leave it there and I'll continue that, this tutorial in another section. Good luck.